Anterior Innominate Rotation Mobilization Technique, presented by Melissa Gay, Ross Lum, and Aaron Salzman. The purpose of performing an anterior innominate rotation mobilization is to increase anterior or forward rotation of the innominate in order to realign the pelvis. The main indication for performing this mobilization exercise is an asymmetrical pelvic alignment as seen with the posterior rotation of the innominate. This can be assessed via a positive standing forward bending test or a march test, as well as through palpation of landmarks. Other indications include a functional leg length discrepancy or pain localized at the SI joint. Because the position of this treatment technique may stretch the femoral nerve, the therapist must be cautious if the patient begins to experience any neurological symptoms during the procedure. Other precautions that a therapist must be aware of are osteoporosis and rheumatoid arthritis. Do not perform this treatment on an individual if they have a pelvic or sacral fracture, cancer, severe osteoarthritis, or a neoplasm. For this mobilization technique, the patient will be positioned and side-lying on the unaffected side. The therapist will be standing behind the patient with the patient facing away. The therapist will support the thigh just above the knee with one hand, while the other hand palpates the respective PSIS. They will then extend the hip until the motion barrier is perceived. The mobilization will occur in an anterior direction, mimicking an anterior pelvic tilt. A grade 1 or 2 mobilization will be used for an acute stage to eliminate pain. A grade 3 or 4 mobilization will be used for a chronic stage to mobilize into resistance. To help provide an anterior rotation force, a muscle energy technique will be performed at end range of motion. The patient will isometrically activate their hip flexors at half of their available strength against therapist resistance for five seconds and will then relax. The therapist will passively extend the patient's hip further into the new barrier and then will repeat this same procedure three times. The therapist will then reassess the patient and if the innominate is not aligned, will repeat this procedure until alignment has been achieved. Signs of a full correction of a posterior innominate rotation include a symmetrical pelvis, elimination of pain, and or an equal leg length. In 2009, Seltco and all assessed performance of the muscle energy technique in subjects with lumbopelvic pain compared to a control group. They found that the muscle energy technique group had significantly decreased pain over the last 24 hours compared to the control group following treatment. They suggest performing this technique prior to other treatment interventions to decrease pain and increase mobility. Overall, results show that this technique can be performed quickly and does not cause additional harm to the patient. Today we'll be demonstrating an anterior dominant rotation mobilization technique. Um, hi, I'm Melissa. I'm Erin. I'll be your physical therapist today. Uh, what we'll be doing today is a technique to help with your rotation of part of your pelvis, your hip. Let me show you really quick what I mean. So, on one side and the other is, is an innominate, and in the back here, we've noticed that it's too far back. So one side is a little bit posterior going this way, and so what we're gonna do is an exercise technique to help put that back in more alignment with the other one, and go anterior or forward. So, I hope you know what that looks like. Um, I'm just going to let you know what's going to happen. So you're going to be laying on your side and we're going to be treating the left hip. And what I will be doing is have one hand on your pelvis, other hand on your leg. And you're going to gently uh, push into my hand and we'll hold that for about five seconds and do that three times. Um, I'll reassess after that and if it's no longer in alignment, we'll still keep doing that technique until it's aligned. Okay. Um, if you're feeling discomfort, let me know. Otherwise, there should be nothing of that sort. So okay. I'll have you lying your side, facing that way. Um, I'll have your leg here, in there, and I'll have one hand finding your hip bone, that pillow at the top. And what I'm going to do is provide a little bit of motion forward in that one position like I showed you on the model. Okay. And then this hand, you're going to push your knee this way into my hand and hold it for five seconds and only do it about 50% of what you normally push with. So I'm going to bring you back here. And if you can push for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And I'm going to bring you in a little bit more extension there. 
session, and we'll do it again. Push for five, four, three, two, one, relax. We'll do one more. And push for five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good. So at this point, I just recheck for the bony alignment. And if we see some alignment, we'll end right there. And if not, we'll do some more.